If there's one thing that you should know about Vilnius, Lithuania, it's that this quirky capital city is a hub for alternative living. From hipsters and digital nomads to vegans and organic farmers, Vilnius is a magnet for free thinkers. It's one of the first things we noticed about the city with its cool street art, vintage clothing shops, and organic restaurants everywhere. This penchant for pushing the limit seems deeply ingrained in Vilnius's history. So today, we're hoping to experience and capture this rebellious side of a city that until now has flown a bit under the radar. Hey guys, and welcome to Vilnius, Lithuania. We're here in the Lithuanian capital city, and we got in yesterday after an eight-hour bus ride up from Warsaw. But now today we are refreshed and we're ready to go explore the city. Vilnius looks like it's gonna be a beautiful city and we do have a few fun facts for you guys. Number one is that this gorgeous old town area that we are walking through right now is actually a UNESCO protected world heritage site. And number two is that this city was also one of the filming locations for the HBO series Chernobyl. I think it's supposed to represent the town of Pripyat. And the third fun fact is that this city is home to Vilnius University, which is the oldest university in all of the Baltics. This capital city definitely has a little bit more of an alternative and rebellious side. And so today we're gonna to be trying to explore that alternative side and we're looking forward to it. But don't worry because we will be doing a traditional Lithuanian food tour later on. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can check that video out too. So far, just in the little bit that we've been walking around, this is a really pretty city to be in. I know, I'm surprised at how many tourists there are though, especially because it's September. Yeah, it's true. We've passed a bunch of walking groups and tour groups and just seems like it's a really popular place to be. Our first actual stop of the day is not your typical cafe. And while it's not exactly unique to Vilnius, we've been wanting to visit one of these for a long time. And so today we're treating ourselves and we're super excited. Oh, I can't wait to go. We're so close. Ready to go. <laughs> Hi, little cuties. They are so cute. I want to just take them all home. This is so cute. They have a cat book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is now brunch time. An interesting brunch array of food. This is a nice variety of snacks. I mean, we got different kinds of cheeses, pickles, bread, spring rolls, onion rings, dipping sauce, and this beautiful pasta. Let's get our brunch on. I think realistically we're just eating our feelings because the cats won't come play with us. The food's really good for a the cat cafe. Is good. The food is nice, the snack butter is really good, I'm enjoying it. Like even if you don't like cats, you could come here and have a good meal. Yeah, come here for the food at least. <laughs> have a visitor. I am the chosen one. I'm so jealous. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> Just like that. Gone. Gone. That place was so cool. We've never been in the cat cafe before and I'm really glad that we finally did it. And the food was surprisingly good too. Like even if you're not a big cat person, I still think they serve a pretty good brunch. And I think next we're gonna be just kind of passing through Literary Street, which looks to be a really cool kind of tribute to all of the authors, translators, anyone involved in the literary field who has ties to Lithuania. So the place that we are heading now is a really special area here in Vilnius. It's called the Uzipis District, and today it's the Artists' Republic, but back in 1997, they actually established a republic that was separate from the rest of Lithuania. And it used to be a pretty dangerous area, but nowadays it's a really cool, artsy, hipster, digital nomad, just kind of awesome area here. So we're gonna go check it out now. 
we followed the path down to the river and they have some like totems in the water all these like old abandoned pianos <laughs> everywhere and it's just kind of like a really i don't know it's a weird spot it's very eclectic there's records stapled to a tree <laughs> 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 Yeah, neat area. Neat people. <laughs> neat people too. <laughs> oh, cold feet. Such cold feet. Do you have a favorite rule of the Oedipus Constitution? I think I like that people have to take care of the cat, but the cat is not obliged to love the human back, which is like such a cat thing. The Jack just slices his hand open on a rusty bridge, so we're gonna walk through this it's supposed to be a really cool street market real quick. Try and find a napkin and then um, head back because he really needs to disinfect that. Yikes. Thank you. Yep. All right, now that we got something on Jack's hand, this is a really cool street market that they sell like fresh produce and foods and all kinds of stuff. I believe it's only every Thursday here um, and then on some special occasions, but it does look like they have some super awesome produce. Definitely seems like more of a local thing because I'm guessing not a lot of tourists hear about it, but a very cool thing to stop by and get some fresh Lithuanian produce. All right, back to the Airbnb now to take care of Jack's wound, but we'll be back out again to explore later. Alright guys, I'm all mended up now. Just a little bit of a cut, but now that I am better, we're going to go head out somewhere for dinner. Since we've heard that Vilnius really likes veganism, vegetarianism, and just kind of organic eating and stuff like that, we are going to head to a vegan falafel shop for dinner that we're really excited to try. Getting close to the restaurant now, but this street that it's on is just so beautiful at night. Like, it's just come to life with a bunch of locals, and it is just so beautiful here in Vilnius, you guys. I absolutely love this city. And the sun is setting behind the buildings. This is an amazing night to be out. my new favorite city. I think I'm with you. It's a really cool city. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. It's really pretty. The food is excellent, by the way. That dinner, wow, amazing. Yeah. I think the first word that kind of comes to my mind to describe Vilnius is quirky. I would say hip. Yeah, hip and quirky and fun and we just had the best day. I know, I did too. It's a fun city to explore and cold though, it's the only thing. It's like <laughs> September, it's like mid-September right now as we're filming this and uh, it's pretty chilly out. It is. So I think we're gonna sign off. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time for our Lithuanian food tour. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> That's all very popular in Vilnius. And so Vilnius, Sorry, I know we're going back and forth saying Vilnius, Vilnius. We started saying Vilnius, we learned it's pronounced Vilnius, Vilnius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>